It's Friday night. You don't want to think about work, but we suspect a whole lot of you will identify with this next story. It's about two words. Reply all. Here's Whitney Wild. We need to talk about email, specifically about reply all. It is not a toy, and I think we can all agree we'd all be a lot better off if we took reply all a lot more seriously. I know I speak from experience. It all started June 18th. There I was minding my own business when I became trapped in a reply all cyclone. Someone emailed our newsroom and copied dozens of seemingly random people. No fewer than 15 of them hit reply all asking to get off the email list. After a while, a lot of people just wrote same. Was I the only one who saw the irony? I was baffled. That's Chris Mullen, expert producer, email advocate. He tried to end the assault by writing, please don't reply all. He was ignored. I feel like people just aren't reading. I feel like my efforts were in vain. I'm only slightly ashamed to admit I became totally obsessed with this. So I reached out to every single person who replied all to find out why they did it. One guy said, I sent reply all because the person I received the email from did. Another wrote, after all those emails, I wanted to scream to anyone who would hear to make it stop. The electronic way for me to do it was reply all. And finally, one person said, right after I sent that message, I realized I shouldn't have hit reply all, but it seemed to have an avalanche effect where a whole bunch of people started reply, many hitting reply all, so maybe it was useful for once. He went on to say, generally, I think it wastes everyone's time. Which brings us to Carla Miller, a workplace advice columnist for The Washington Post. So when is it appropriate to reply all and when should you hold back? You need to ask yourself, am I boosting the signal or am I just adding to the noise? So how do we fix this reply all problem? If you're on a reply all and you're tempted to reply all, hit forward instead and then type in the names of the people that you want to contact. And that way you know exactly who's getting your message and you force yourself to think, does this person need to hear what I'm saying? It's so obvious, and yet I bet you know someone who replies all, all the time, for no reason. Let's treat this like recycling or littering. If we all do our part, we can make the office a much better place. Whitney Wild, WUSA 9. Hallelujah, Whitney. All right, there are ways to mute an email chain where you don't want notifications. And Whitney has put together a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. It's on our website right now and on the WUSA 9 app. Lights, camera, 